Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pocket, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to reset your forgotten password on your Mac computer. So let's get started. This is a small trick which I found which resets only the password without factory resetting your Mac. So all your files will be still there, but the only thing we're gonna reset is the password. Before even progressing, I've got to tell you that if you have enabled Firevolt, then unfortunately this trick doesn't work at all. Your only best bet, if you have forgotten your password and you have enabled Firevolt, is to try and remember this recovery key that Firevolt gave you at the time just before you enable it. If you cannot find it, then unfortunately there is no way to bypass it unless you decide to factory reset your computer. If you want to know how to factory reset your Mac, then I have a video down in the description. Okay, now that's enough, let's go back to the video. So you don't know the password, so the only thing you need to do is to simply turn on your Mac and then hold the Command and R key to enter the recovery mode. Okay, so now we're in recovery mode. So what you need to do here is, is to simply ignore everything and simply navigate to utilities and select terminal. Now here type reset password. Exactly like that. Hit enter. And then you're gonna notice that there's a small window on the back of terminal. So now close terminal, we don't do this anymore. And here select the volume that you'd like to erase the password. In my case is Mac. So we're gonna select this and here it says enter a new password for this user. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna write password. And the same here, password. And then a hint for that, so I'm gonna just type. And then here gonna click on save. And then click OK. And finally you may restart your computer. So we're going to click on restart here. And now I'm going to test and try the new password that I set. Okay, so now I'm going to try my password. Just going to type password. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to log in. However, if you change the password that way, unfortunately, you won't be able to use your current keychain, which means that an application uh, asks for your password. Unfortunately, keychain is not going to accept this new password that you have just changed from a recovery mode, but instead it's going to ask for your old password. If you want to continue using keychain, you need to create a new one and then store all the new passwords that you're gonna set from now on on that new keychain and delete the old one. But this is a topic for another time. So for now, just click on continue. And then you may create the new keychain later on. And now I can again use my computer. And that brings to the end of this video. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you like this video. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about this video. Share this video to your friends if you found this video helpful. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're a new visitor to this channel. So thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you to my next video.